now that you've calmed down, let's look at the absolute value function. You remember absolute value, don't you? Absolute value, we represent that like this, using those vertical bars. What does absolute value mean? It's basically the exact opposite of the positive. No, it's not the exact opposite. It's, we use that to represent the, the distance from zero. When we talk about distance, we're talking about a, a positive amount, right? So when I talk about absolute value, and I say, what's the absolute value of negative 2? What's the absolute value of negative 2? Positive, what's the absolute value of negative one? Because the distance from zero for negative one is just one unit, right? What about zero? Zero. And then what? One. One and two. So these are some points, but let's see if we can see some kind of pattern. See what this guy's going to look like whenever I graph him. I have negative two, two, negative one, one, zero, zero. 1, 1, and 2, 2. Well, it doesn't quite look like the parabola, but it does look like I might have. Here's the real marker. I do have a vertex here. Now, what if you kept going with this? What's the absolute value of 3? 3. What's the absolute value of 4? So you're going to see this pattern that's going on. You're going to have all these points, right? And you can kind of keep that going back over here on the other side. Now, here's something neat about the absolute value and the parabola. There is this imaginary line going through the vertex. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice to you. This is called the axis of symmetry. Okay? And when we talk about symmetry, we talk about a reflection. What you have on this side is reflected on the other side. Okay, it's an axis of symmetry. Now, when I draw this, this doesn't have a curved, a curved shape like the parabola did. Okay. This has straight segments in it, which is really nice because you don't have to worry about my curving it right. You just, you just draw it. Now, when you get down here to the vertex, you're going to have this sharp turn. And that means something very important to us when we get to, uh, say, calculus. Um, some weird things happen right here whenever, you're, whenever you have a sharp turn or a corner. Okay. Now, when I graph this using Winplot, you have to know certain things. Because x squared, you can type that in as x squared. That's not a big, big deal. But for absolute value functions, you actually have to type in ABS and then open up parentheses, much like you would see on your graphing calculator. So the absolute value of x, close the parentheses, and then there's my graph. Okay. What do you guys think about that? All right? Cool.